Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate on uh, integrating custom copilot to SharePoint as SPFX web part uh, with SSO experience. Copilot in general uh, helps users get work done more efficiently and by integrating it with uh, SharePoint, we can provide users uh, with real time assistance and more intuitive experience. So uh, before I jump into the demo, a quick introduction. Um, I am Nish Kalank Bezawada and people call me as Nish. I am Microsoft MVP in M365 development SharePoint. Uh, I work as a lead developer solutions architect at Bravero. I live in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I am also an uh, active PNP community contributor, a father of three wonderful kids. And you can correct me on um, GitHub, LinkedIn and Blue Sky. So uh, the agenda uh, is uh, the context, the use case uh, and scenario which I have implemented and the actual implementation uh, and the demo. So using uh, Copilot Studio, I have uh, built a co custom Copilot to consume SharePoint online content targeting a subset of uh, data in SharePoint. For instance, uh, let's say you uh, you need to find a report from last year instead of uh, manually searching through SharePoint libraries, you can ask Copilot find last year's uh, sales report and uh, there you can, I mean, you, you get the document uh, instantly. So th th this, uh, this not only saves time, but also enhances efficiency uh, it supports uh, natural language uh, interactions and uh, returns tailored responses uh, based on uh, user needs. With this web part, uh, it enables a seamless uh, authentication with uh, SSO. Also uses a traditional model of a bot experience in the web part. Um, Yes, uh, most uh, common use case is uh, HR assistant, which helps automate uh, res repetitive tasks. Uh, for example, uh, HR teams uh, can use it to fetch employee uh, policies or training material uh, in instantly. This reduces manual effort uh, and uh, allows teams to focus on more important tasks uh, or uh, or an IT help desk automation, or maybe a business uh, data retrieval, where you can ask Copilot to show last three months, uh, last three product launch reports. Uh, in my case, I recently got an opportunity to volunteer at ESPC in Stockholm, and uh, I had to give a session at my company uh, on the key takeaways. So I thought, uh, why not ask Copilot to give me a summary of various speakers? And yes, it did. Uh, this, this, uh, you, you'll actually sh uh, see that in the implementation and demo. So uh, I have uh, built a Copilot agent which uh, will summarize as, uh, uh, sessions at ESPC. ESPC 2024 and provide a concise summary of all sessions and topics covered at uh, ESPC 2024, including key take takeaways and uh, speaker insights. I used speaker slides as the knowledge to the copilot and precise instructions with which uh, my ESPC session summarizer is ready. <laughs> Hello. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so yes, uh, the implementation. Uh, uh, I have built the custom copilot and created a Entra ID app registration for the custom copilot. Register uh, the SharePoint site as a custom canvas for seamless authentication and build the web uh, SharePoint web part. Uh, let me go to the um, you know, quick demo here. Uh, e Yo. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, in my uh, Copilot Studio, uh, first is to build uh, the Copilot uh, custom Copilot. I have given it a meaningful name as uh, ESPC Copilot Agent and a description uh, of what it does, which says uh, uh, you are a Copilot Agent, which will uh, summarize the topics which the speakers have uh, 
uh, spoke at ESPC 2024 in Stockholm and uh, uh, clear cut instructions to the co-pilot uh, on what is the objective source and even the expected output uh, uh, sample. Um, to test my uh, uh, agent, now uh, uh, let me type uh, uh, a prompt here. Uh, some summarize the session by Vesa Yuvonen at ESPC 2024, and we'll wait uh, for the uh, yeah agent to uh, retrieve everything uh, just a few more seconds and there you go uh, vesa has spoken about uh, developers guide to customizing uh, m365 copilot agents uh, there are two speakers vesa and fabian uh, and it also gave me the summary uh, of the session and the key takeaways and surprisingly with the uh, reference to the uh, 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 you know uh, data or like you know the material uh, right uh, yeah this is the one and this is the uh, yes uh, so yeah uh, next is that uh, i have uh, uh, created a app registration for the uh, custom copilot i mean now the copilot is ready uh, i have to enable the authentication uh, so i have created a, a app registration here uh, i have added the um, redirect url as uh, the uh, url which is uh, available in the uh, copilot studio and uh, i have given the api the, uh, necessary permissions here uh, and exposed the api and uh, added the scope uh, so the scope is uh, to you know uh, read <clears throat> which is uh, quite important uh, next is uh, that i have uh, now that i have created a app registration which uh, which is used by the copilot uh, now i'll i i have uh, also created one more app registration which is like canvas app registration and this is uh, responsible for uh, you know f or like it has been used by the SharePoint web part uh, for SSO simul uh, SSO authentication. Um, here I have uh, added the redirect URLs, uh, which is the URL of the uh, of the uh, of the of the page where my web part is being added. And uh, for the API permissions, I here uh, it's this is like you know crucial step where we have to add the permissions or like you know we have to grant the permission for the uh, actual uh, uh, copilot uh, you know actual app registration used by the copilot so to do that add a permission and uh, apis uh, my organization uses you just type in with the name uh, which i've created already and this is the scope and just uh, click on add so uh, now uh, everything is ready, but not the web part. So yes, uh, let me go back to the web part. Um, <clears throat> it's a simple web part, uh, which uses bot framework uh, and uh, all the conf uh, uh, you know web part configurations. I'm uh, I've stored it in a SharePoint list, which uh, which will be yes uh, this one. Uh, I have named it as copilot uh, agent config and uh, edited it. Uh, this is the bot URL, uh, the custom scope, the client ID and the authority. Uh, so all these will be used by the uh, uh, web part as uh, web part properties. Um, <clears throat> this web part uh, integrates with um, uh, Microsoft Bot Framework Web Chat to embed uh, a chat bot uh, powered by uh, Power Virtual Agents. It uses uh, MSAL for authentications, uh, allows uh, allows users to authenticate using Azure AD and interact with the bot securely. Um, so, uh, oh, where is this? Where is this? All right, so uh, uh, yes, uh, 
<clears throat> sorry uh, this this web part makes an api request to the bot uh, endpoint which uh, which is the bot url to get the direct line token and uh, finally establishes secure uh, communications uh, with the bot uh, uh, now uh, let's uh, see the actual demo again once again uh, on the web part how it looks like so uh, which i have already added here uh, this is the web part uh, if I edit it, uh, we don't have any uh, uh, webpack properties here, just the name, welcome message. Uh, let me save it as a draft uh, very quickly. And now it is like, yes, it has been logged in. Uh, I will uh, again uh, type in a prompt here as uh, summarize the session by Erwin Van Hoonen. And uh, Yes, uh, we'll wait for a, a few seconds until it responds back uh, to see how the summary, uh, how the copilot has uh, summarized the complete uh, session. So, uh, Erwin, uh, father of PNP PowerShell, has uh, spoken about PNP PowerShell ten years as open source and going strong. Uh, it gives, uh, it it also gave the summary here. Uh, the key takeaways and uh, as I said, like, you know, uh, also to the uh, a reference to the uh, source link. So uh, this is the one. Um, so, uh, yes, I as I said, like, you know, I have given the uh, speaker slides as uh, uh, knowledge to the copilot. So I have uploaded uh, everything in my uh, SharePoint library as ESPC 24. Uh, uh, yes, I think uh, with this, I finish my demo. Um, yes, uh, sharing is caring. <laughs> uh, I thank the best community for uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, again, sharing is caring, which is the true power of the community. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.